You're still watching The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. We can't end the show this morning without talking about the women who have dared to challenge the norm and achieve great feats for themselves, for their families, uh, for all the women, and of course for their nation. And uh, we're going to be going through a breakfast, a top 10 Nigerian women who are at the top of their assignments in no particular order. First on the list is Ngozi Okonjo Uwela, who, by the way, is a woman of many firsts, the first female finance minister in Nigeria. She helped the country secure an $80 billion debt relief in 2005. Her 25 year career at the World Bank saw her become a managing director there, and she's the first woman and the first African to become the Director General of the World Trade Organization. Amina Mohammed is the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations. Before that, she was Nigeria's Minister of Environment and had previously served as a Presidential Senior Special Assistant on Millennium Development Goals. She definitely makes our list this morning. And of course, third, once again in no particular order, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie has become a household name the world over winning no fewer than five international awards and a MacArthur uh, Fellowship from writing. She also has received tens of honorary degrees from some of the world's most prestigious universities. Aruma Ote was the Director General of the Securities and Action Commission from 2009 to 2015. She's credited with facing up uh, to corrupt officials and politicians and later became Treasurer and Vice President of the World Bank. She would also not be forgotten this morning. And of course, we also have Ibuku Awosika, who is a successful businesswoman. She was also the first uh, female chairman of First Bank. She also chairs a number of for-profit and non-profit board. She is an author and a renowned motivational speaker. Also on our list this morning is someone who is very popular in the sporting world, Asisa Toshola. She is the reigning African Women's Footballer of the Year and has won the award four times. She has also won the BBC Women's Footballer of the Year award. The prolific footballer has left the Super Falcons to, uh, of course, or led rather the Super Falcons to three continental championships. She plays club football for one of the biggest football clubs in the world, FC Barcelona Femini in Spain. And of course, we now will talk about Indidi Uneli, who is a humanitarian, an entrepreneur, an agriculturist um, who runs Sahel Capital a consulting and advisory firm focused on agriculture. Leap Africa focuses on youth leadership development, uh, of course, a non-profit organization, while the IK Akunuba uh, is focused on female empowerment in Southeast Nigeria. And you can't you know, have those conversations without talking um, extensively of Ndidi Uneli. I've interviewed a few, uh, her a few times, by the way. Um, we also, of course, will quickly mention Wendy Okolo, who is an aerospace research engineer at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration in the United States of America. She traveled to the U.S. after her secondary education at Queens College here, of course, uh, in Lagos, and attended University of Texas at Arlington, where she received a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Uh, she is the first black woman to obtain a Ph.D. degree in uh, aerospace engineering from the same university. And of course, uh, still on our list this morning, Mo Abudu. She's a media entrepreneur and filmmaker who founded Ebony Live TV in the year 2006. She currently runs Ebony Live Films, which has made three of Nigeria's top five grossing um, uh, movies. Um, last on our list this morning, once again in no particular order, is the completely hilarious and talented Funke Akindele. She's an actress and filmmaker, best known for her role in the movie and, of course, subsequent series known as Jennifer's Diary. Her movie, Omogeto, the saga which she directed, is currently Nigeria's highest grossing movie. It made more than half a billion naira in the Nigerian box office, despite being released in 2020 when the world and the country was battling the coronavirus pandemic. And on this day, we uh, completely and absolutely celebrate this top 10 women and every other Nigerian woman who, of course, has continued to put themselves out there, has continued to go through the numerous struggles here and there that the system and the society and the culture, you know, down here has made, you know, a lot, life a lot, you know, harder for them. We celebrate you today, International Women's Day, and we celebrate you always. And this is where we wrap up the show this morning. Yes.
Yes, a big congratulations to every woman who's breaking their back, making sure that they provide for their families, reading so hard in schools for students, and for people who are making sure that they leave an impact by working very hard and building their careers. So congratulations to you and happy International Women's Day. And that's where we'll draw the curtains on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. My name is Aneta Felix. Uh, and I am Osao Gi Ogboa. See you tomorrow.